are coming to America, and, and they're right in our backyard. And we sent them back. Some of them went back and they died. And so uh, uh, now that the son Bush is in office, I don't understand this, how you could just give amnesty to millions of people, but yet you sent a, 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 a few hundred Haitians back. To me, that's racist. Oh, to me, that is, that is being inconsistent. And to me, that is not good for the nation. You know, we've been talking about the gentlemen friends and what they've done. We didn't mention a lovely, lovely lady. I knew her well. A congresswoman from Texas, Barbara Jordan. Barbara Jordan, who spoke out on this overall issue. She said early on when the rest of us were just kind of looking at textbooks and saying, will it work, does it work, what is it about? She said, look. If they're here, they got here illegally, they don't belong here. Mm -hmm. Send them back. Mm -hmm. And what about, oh, look how we've grown. My own aunt, mm, mm. my own aunt Jenny Dawkins Putnam. Mm. She was a member of the DAR, Daughters of the American Revolution, and she resigned from that organization because they refused to let Marian Anderson sing in Washington, D.C., at, at the hall there. She said, the hell, the hell with you, goodbye. Yes. <laughs> yes. We, we're, we're slow learners, but we get there. Yes. <laughs> and, and again, I, I, I want to uh, make it clear that the, the, the issue is to say uh, <laughs> the, 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 the immigrants who are here. We are a nation of immigrants. Right. We celebrate diversity. Yeah. Yep. But we cannot and should not have people here undocumented. And how can you give amnesty to millions of people that you don't even know? You don't, we don't even know if it's 12 or 20. There you are. So how there can you, you just give uh, 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 amnesty to, to, to everybody and you haven't uh, uh, secured your borders? How do you know 20 more won't come? <laughs> I, I, I'm just... I'm just asking questions. How are you going to assess the amnesty issue, and who will it affect? The boat is sinking. Well, I have a paddle trying to get to shore. <laughs> now let's go to your good, your good friend you did a book on, Frederick Douglass. Yes. I don't ask you to read his mind, but give me kind of a, a cursory view of the man. Well, Frederick Douglass... Uh, is a national icon. You know that was another crisis in which this nation uh, was facing in the 19th century, and we all know that that was slavery. Douglas was trying to save the nation. He was concerned about the soul of America. And he knew that this issue of slavery would bury the nation in irrecoverable ruin. So therefore he fought and he said that the conscience of the nation must be roused, the propriety of the nation must be started, the hypocrisy of the nation must be exposed, gotcha. and its crimes against God and man must be proclaimed and denounced. So therefore, the issues that Douglas was dealing with was the issue of human trafficking. We are at another critical point in our history. And that is, we got to do something about our borders. We have, we had 9-11, and we've lost almost 3,000 uh, uh, citizens in this country. So when issues face us, when crises come, we have a, fa a frame of reference. We can reach back and read uh, those, those towering figures of our nation who were concerned about the soul of America concern about the perpetuation of our nation where our children and our grandchildren can, can truly uh, be the beneficiaries of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. What I did in this Frederick Douglass, a precursor of liberation theology, Douglass was attacking. Douglass was attacking the hypocrisy, the beliefs and values that even the church held against a people uh, 